Hello everyone, this is Rich again for another edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's topic, I'm going to teach you how to create a conduit in your Revit electrical project. Conduit can be found on your systems tab, electrical panel, so you can see there your conduit. Okay, I seldom see uh, Revit MEP, especially in electrical model conduit but i'm going to teach you how to use it in case you want to explore how to create your conduit all right so let's get started so this is the exercise files again that i got from subscribing in linda.com from the beam master mr eric wing all right so i'm going to open the view to uh, power plan so level one so i'm gonna open this one okay so all right so let's say, for example, I'm going to place my conduit in this room, just a simple room. So let's say, for example, here on my electrical 107, all right? So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to place here an electrical equipment, all right? So from the systems tab, electrical panel, you can see there your electrical equipment. So, I'm going to select now the electrical equipment and from the properties, as you can see, these are the electrical equipments that is out of the box that you can use in uh, Rabbit MEP. Okay? Or, if you want, you can also explore the folder if you are going to select load family. Okay, you just need to go to uh, electrical, MEP, uh, electrical power and then you just need to go to your distribution okay and then from here you just need to select the the distribution or the electrical equipment that you want to be placed in your uh, project so let's say for example I'm going to select my electrical equipment here mcb surface so let's say this one so i'll try to select oops so i'll try to select uh this one all right so m single phase uh, panel 120 volts mcb surface so it's a surface based family so this one is a recess okay so this one is surface based so i select this one and then i open Okay. Alright, then after that, I'm going to hover my pointer along the wall. So as you can see, this is a surface-based family. So I'm going to make sure that place on vertical face is selected. So again, I can select from here. Okay, so I'll just use the 100 amp. So let's say I'm going to place it here. So I'm going to pick. And then after that, I'm going to select your modify. Now, if I'm going to select this equipment, you will notice that I have here connectors. This is actually the connector for your conduit, all right? If I'm going to select here edit family just for, uh, for me to be able to show you the family, as you can see, there's the connector for your conduit, right? Okay? And of course, this uh, circle here, this is your a connector for the creation of your power circuit. But what I want you to take note is this four here, for connectors, this is what we use to create our conduit, all right? So I'll just go ahead and close this one. No need to save it, all right. Okay, there you go. Now, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click this, and then you see this one, you can right-click this, and then you can see there's an option here, okay? So draw conduit from face all right so if i'm going to select this okay it will now show you the surface connector uh, connection uh, contextual tab wherein you'll be able to see here the preview so as you can see there's the preview this is where we are going to place the connector i mean the conduit okay so what I'm going to do is I can also modify this if if I want. So let's say I'm going to type here, uh, let's say 415, enter. So you will notice the connection will move, right? 
So let's say I'm going to key in here uh, 200, enter. As you can see, the connection is moving. Okay, so this is actually the side of my uh, equipment here. Now I'm going to select here finish connection. Okay, and then I'll just go ahead and create my conduit. Okay, so let's say I'm going to move it here. Okay. And then I can also follow this if I want. Now, if you want to go your, if you want to move up your conduit, you can specify the offset here. So let's say I'll select 2750. Okay. So if I'm going to pick another point, let's say here, you will notice there's this uh, a point where in my conduit moves up okay so i'm going to select now modify to terminate it so this is how it looks like okay so let me try to create again so i'm going to select my equipment right click and then i can select your conduit from face okay again it shows me the side and it shows me also here the preview of my uh, conduit the connection of my conduit so i'll just select here finish connection there you go and then let's say i'm gonna change my diameter here to let's say 103 okay so i'm go ahead and uh, pick here there you go so if i want to move up so i'm just going to change this again to 2750 and then i'm going to pick now here okay again the pipe here that is showing there's a movement so it will show here okay and then i'll just go ahead and select here modify there you go so basically that's how you create your conduit so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to create here a call out view okay so to create a call out view i select here the view tab of course you can still explore the creation of your conduit it's up to you all right so i'm going to select here the view tab and then there's the call out i select here a rectangle call out so i'm just going to place it here just like this okay and then i can also select this and then change this okay just like that and then i'm going to open now the call out so i click the call out right click and then i select go to view there you go so this is now the call out view now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hide the pattern of my uh, floor here so i'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides by selecting this or i can also type vv or vg okay and then as you can see here i cannot uh, turn off or modify my visibility graphics override at the moment because there is a view template that is currently applied to my view right now so what i'm going to do i'm going to cancel this and then i'm going to move the slider down as you can see there's a view template that is applied here so i'm going to select the view template and then after that from here i can now modify the visibility graphic overrides okay if this view template is also applied in other view let's say not only on the floor plan level one call out if this is used in other floor plan view any changes that you made here it will affect also the other floor plan because you are just using the same view template All right so what i'm going to do instead of modifying the visibility graphic override since this is the only view that i want to modify so i'll just select here none so that there's no view template that will be applied in this view and then i select here okay and then i'll try to type again the vv and then as you can see i will now be able to uh, modify my visual uh, the visibility graphic override so let's say i'll just want to turn off the patterns of my floor i'll just turn off the visibility and then i select here okay and then i select okay there you go Okay, so I'm now able to see the model here. Okay, if I want, what I can do is, I can select, oh, sorry, 
I can select this view and then after that I can select this one to create a uh, 3D section it will isolate that one so I click this it will create a 3D model you see here so this is how it looks like okay so what I'm going to do for me to be able to see my uh, conduit in 3D view so from the uh, view control bar I'll change the detail level to fine and then you will now see there your connection okay my conduit so I'll just change my visual style to shaded view so it looks like this okay I can also change my discipline here if I want to show also the colored architectural model I can also change that to coordination you see so this is how it looks like okay so that's how you use your conduit okay so I'll just go ahead and change it back to electrical so I can see the electrical here okay the line weights are a bit thick so I'm going to turn on the thin lines so that it will look like this all right just make sure every time you use your conduit so I'll just go back again to level one make sure you are using the correct template Okay, so make sure you are using the correct template. You are using electrical template so that when you create your conduit, there is your connectors already applied. Okay, because sometimes if you are using an, an architectural uh, template, you will notice if you create a conduit, the fittings are not loaded inside that particular template. That's why if you start a project, make sure you are going to use uh, not mechanical template but system template or electrical template by doing that all the necessary fittings for your conduit it will be uh, loaded inside your project okay so just remember that so you just need to explore more okay I don't need to show you all the things regarding the conduit at least you already have an idea how it works all right so again if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right? so please give this video a like, and please subscribe to my channel. Alright, so hopefully this has been a helpful video to you. And once again, this is Rich from Learning with Rich. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.